Hello, gentlemen of the 16 team league. This is USFL pre uh, highlights uh, week five. Uh, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. We're in the divisional games. Everybody plays in another divisional match next week. Uh, you know, if you can win, if you're toward the bottom over one of those teams that are above you, you can really flip things. Um, uh, there are some teams that have some power rankings that are definitely weaker than others. That's obvious. But line them up, guys, with this COVID and everything that's going on and injuries and hamstrings and, and everything that's happening. Uh, you might uh, appear that you not uh, that you have a little chance of winning, but you never know what will happen. It's all about dynasty points, of course, having fun. But, uh, uh, you know, you get dynasty points, you can go to the main link page and look at that. The main link page will be updated after week six. Uh, the top eight board will start in week six, and we get into top tier and lower tier uh, brackets as we move on into the season. Uh, but you guys that are one and four and two and three games behind the leader right now, uh, that really means nothing. Uh, one good uh, waiver wire pick and one bad injury for another team, and you're right in there. So here we go. Uh, Panthers go to the Outlaws. Uh, uh, Outlaws win in a, a, a pretty pretty close game until, I think, uh, Monday and Tuesday night. Uh, but the Outlaws go to 4-1. and one. The Panthers 3-2. and two. Ken Beatty's team um, trying to make a comeback after winning a championship in year one. Uh, Panthers have Mahomes uh, that had an off night. Elliott had a pretty good night. Hill kind of goes along with Mahomes in some ways. So he had an average night. You know, Hill's potential is 10 points if he really gets on fire. Um, but uh, none of that happened for the Panthers. Outlaws win. Uh, Ian Brown's team uh, with Brady and a top-to-bottom performance uh, for the Outlaws. So uh, another game in the Central Division was uh, the Gamblers and the Blitz. The Blitz win 30 to 20, and uh, win 30 to 20. Um, Ryan only put three points up for the Gamblers. That really hurt, uh, you know, your quarterback usually uh, is your top scorer, but uh, that was very disappointing. And uh, he had some weak ancillary performance um, um, but the Blitz, you know, scored 30 points. Thomas's team, uh, uh, Bill's a little behind the eight ball at two and three, but he's really only two games out of the leader, the Outlaws. Um, so it, uh, everybody uh, there in the Central is still totally in this. Uh, but the Blitz do win this game solidly, 30 to 20, uh, with Wilson leading the way, and then Ridley's been a great star uh, for the Blitz. And um, so, uh, you know, the Blitz are a team to watch. Uh, I do see that forming. Uh, moving on to the Atlantic Division, uh, another home win, uh, team to win at home. Uh, the Stars, um, the Breakers, uh, champions last year, go into uh, the stadium there, um, uh, Veterans Stadium, and uh, it's a tough game, 27 to 17, goes to the Stars. Uh, Michael Summers was really worried early in the season at 0-3 that he was just going to uh, crash and burn. Uh, now he finds himself uh, one game back, uh, probably going to be facing the Mauler soon. Um, Michael Summers uh, uh, takes out a win here over the Breakers, Craig's team, 27-17. to And then the New Jersey Generals uh, was our first home team to lose this week in Week 5. Uh, to the Maulers. The Maulers are leading in the Atlantic Division, go to 3-2. and two. Uh, They take down the New Jersey Generals 27-19. to 19. Um, Maulers are looking pretty strong. Lamar Jackson, I think he still uh, hasn't got his, uh, his game going completely yet. Uh, the Baltimore defense actually was his highest score this week. Uh, that's a great defense to have. You don't want to ever drop them no matter what. Uh, I think they're only going to get better, and Todd Gurley put in a solid performance. So, Darren Spencer's Maulers are in the lead in the Atlantic Division. Moving on to the South, uh, Chris Flames, Birmingham Stallions. Uh, he had a great draft. He came on strong last year. Uh, uh, I wasn't sure what Chris's play was going to be after two seasons, but uh, he is there to play this year for sure. Wins the home game versus uh, Jake Matthews Showboats. Um, 28 to 24. This game was close toward the end. Um, uh, just uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, he had Hill um, that uh, put up uh, a mediocre game, uh, a big game by Hill there, and this thing is uh, a different story. Uh, but the Stallions do win, go to 5 and 0, 
uh, Memphis Showboats three and two. And uh, another game in the South, the Bandits and the Bulls, both two and three now. Uh, Bulls win this one at home, 27 to 25. Uh, Cousins is finally starting to play some pretty decent ball. Hopkins put up a really good game. Matt Cap is a beast. Uh, so uh, Bulls got something to work with, that's for sure, uh, moving forward here. Um, and then finally in the Pacific Division, uh, the Rangers lose a close one. Kevin Perilou's team to El Briscoe's Express. Express go to 4-1, leading in the Pacific. They were my early pick to possibly win the uh, – win uh, at least go to the uh, final game of the championship game, if not win it all, until I see now that Birmingham is strong and, of course, the Blitz are, are looking good too. Uh, but the Rangers lose this one at home. It's a tough loss, 24-22. And then finally, the dog of the week, obvious dog of the week, is the Invaders and the Gold. Uh, ugly game, 17-11. Uh, a lot of players not played. Um, it was just a rough week for both of these teams. But the Invaders win at home, 17 to 11, get their first win, go to one and four, it goes one and four. So uh, as far as the board here um, uh, in the standings, uh, all division games, anything can flip. So good luck, everybody. Uh, previews will maybe not happen this week unless El Briscoe can put something together. Uh, I've got a lot going on. Uh, if anybody else wants to step up and do preview, start making your script right now. Uh, just look at the teams. Some people haven't lined up. Uh, but if anybody wants to do it, feel free. Just let me know so we don't have two people trying to do it. I think Al Briscoe is going to put something together, but I haven't got a confirmation yet. So if that doesn't happen, it's no big deal. Uh, we'll just move on, line them up, play week six, anything can happen. Good luck.